My name is Kensuke Yamada. I'm a Wingate Museum exhibiting artist. But then, you know, I, had a, I went to school for speech pathology, so probably parents thought, uh, you know, that's what you're gonna do, and maybe they're like, thank God I'm done with this kid, you know, I'm, this kid is ready to go, right? But then I said, hey, Dad, is it okay if I go to America? <laughs> so I have no idea what they thought about it. At the point, I didn't even speak English, so. It's just my mind thinks it's easy because my father, father went to school here, so maybe I go to America. I started looking at the Jun Kaneko type of a work and then I start closing foam from a big ball shape and then the, uh, I realized that my piece get fired faster if I make a piece that's, uh, that's the size of a kiln so I don't have to put my little piece on the shelf and wait my piece get fired. So I measure the kiln and then, uh, okay, I'm gonna make that big. So that gives me practice to build, hand building skill. Like I learned controlling, you know, building something with the hands and coils and uh, a basic craftsmanship by, you know, challenging myself to that scale, right? Which is probably within 30 inches in dimensions. And uh, uh, it's a challenging for beginner students, but it definitely gave me an uh, opportunity to learn basic craftsmanship in clay and then I start making closing foam right and then I I was thinking about that how fragile how emotional the volume of the sculpture is I do use a basic method like coil building and uh, more likely I use my hands a lot and uh, and I always call it like a caveman method, but it's very simple and uh, everyone can do it. But um, I guess that everyone touches in a different ways in a way. And uh, when I built the figure, it does look like my work. Um, I make a lot of pieces. I practice my hands a lot and and uh, and see you know, if, if me appears, like uh, it's like a handwriting. My clay is stoneware, which is high temperature clay. It's supposed to fire up to uh, 23, 4,000 degree, 24, 300 degree. But uh, I fire to uh, 1945, which is low fire range. And then I can add colors over and over and refire my piece uh, as many as I want and uh, keep developing the surface, keep developing texture. Try to keep up my practice, definitely, because and I'm here to teach students that you can be artist or you can practice studio and make a living. And what about if I'm not showing my work? Uh, I think I want them to see I'm working in the studio and I'm here Saturday, Sunday. You know, probably priority is a studio and uh, laundry after that and dish after that probably, but. Um, you know, I always put that studio in the center to push my career. There are a lot of things happened last year. 2020 is like, it's, it's going to be a memory for us forever. <laughs> but, uh, you know, this is a, some one good happy news. Here comes the museum, opens up, and uh, that's a place that uh, people walk by every day. That's where students walk by every day to go to classes. So, um, so this time I forced uh, happiness more than uh, sad or depressed. Or you know, I try always try to balance both in my work. But this time I focused on more happy side of it. So that when people walk walk by the by the gallery, I mean the museum, they can lift their chin up and then enjoy you know some happiness and bright colors and uh, some uh, ridiculous cuteness to it. You know, I visited the museum there, so I, I just want to when people walk by, I just want them to be warm. I just want them to happy uh, by looking at this pathetic happy piece I make. <laughs>